In accident and emergency, the team are ready to fix our next patient. Let's meet him. In Manchester, seven-year-old Ryan is in hospital with a hole in his head. I was spinning around on my bike and I fell off it and whacked my head. Holy moly, you did! So how on earth did this happen? Ryan was on his bike, riding along. Oh dear, no helmet. When his brother fancied a ride on it. Can I have a go? OK. So Ryan span his bike around with a nifty 360 degree turn. Only as he was spinning, he fell off. He went flying through the air and landed with the handlebar smacking him square between the eyes. Ouch. <laughs> It kind of hurts a bit. Just a bit? Crikey, you're brave. Anyway, let's get that gaping gash seen to. Enter Dr Jonathan Taylor. How did you fall? Do you remember? The handlebar. It didn't have no rubber on it and I want a head. So has the, the end of the handlebar gone into your head? <sighs> Ouch. That's what I said. Must have hurt a lot. It did. <laughs> Can you tell me if it's too sore? Of course not. This is one tough guy we've got here. But because he wasn't wearing a helmet, he's had a blow to the head. Dr Jonathan needs to give Ryan a thorough checkover. Can I get you to do a few few little things with your face? Pull some funny faces for me. Make sure you... <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Hang on, Ryan. The test hasn't started yet. I just want to make sure that all his, all his nerves in his face are, are working fine, that he's not got any injuries to them. Anything we're touching you there? Mm-hmm. Also just making sure that he's sort of obeying commands and stuff so he's not had a serious head injury. Can I get you to screw your eyes tightly shut? Very good. Unopen them very wide like that. Are you scared? Very good. Looks like he's had a lucky escape. He's very brave in these situations when I've got to take him to hospital. Always calm. Cool. He's been here before. He must be accident prone. Because this is quite near to your eyes, I think we might need to put a little stitch in there. To make sure Ryan doesn't feel any pain, Dr Nandini Sen arrives to give him some laughing gas. <laughs> <laughs> and just like Mason earlier, with Ryan giggling away, the doctors can get to work. First up, they give his wound a good clean. And then they inject an anaesthetic to numb the area. <laughs> he is laughing. You're not meant to laugh. <laughs> and now the stitching can begin. It only takes two stitches to close up Ryan's wound. Did that hurt? No? Even his cut's smiling. And once he's checked out the doctor's handiwork, this action hero is ready to go home. Yeah, yeah. Never mind the muscles, Ryan. On your bike. Let's hope we don't see you back here soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs> now it's time for us to hit the hospitals to show you what goes on. Today, we're in the operating theatre. Ah! Can you see my tonsils? Ah! Of course you can't. They were taken out when I was six. But what are these so-called tonsils. What do they do? Why were mine removed? I'm on duty with the tonsil team to find out. Your tonsils sit at the back of your throat. But what are they doing there? Meet Dr Anand Kazbekar. He specialises in the ears, nose and throat. We don't 100% know exactly what the tonsils do. What? But we have a fairly good idea. They fight bugs. Essentially, they're your body's line of defence. Why do they get infected themselves? Sometimes, it's just too much for them to fight. And the tonsils themselves enlarge, they get inflamed, which causes pain. And it's when your tonsils become so inflamed and painful that you might need to have them taken out. But don't worry, your body can cope perfectly well without them. There are plenty of other glands and other bits of your body, like your tonsils, that fight infection. So if you've lost your tonsils, don't worry. Well, that's a relief. Now I'm going to see some tonsils removed. So let's see who's on the ward to have theirs out today. This is Bailey. How big do you think your tonsils are going to be? I think they're going to be about that big. Whoa! You think they're going to be pretty big? Show me them. Ah. Ignore the dangly bit in the middle. These are the tonsils. Bailey's tonsils are absolutely massive. They're lumpy, they're big. They really look like they need to come out. What do you think? Also on the surgical ward today is Amber. Can you give me an ah? Uh... Oh, look, there they are. Have you done this in the mirror? So, 
Bailey and Amber about to have their tonsils out. But I wonder who's are going to be bigger? Let's go find out. This is the operating theatre. So this is very exciting for me. We've been allowed to come in and watch this surgery, which is amazing, but it's particularly amazing because it's an operation that I had and I've never seen it. First up to get her tonsils out is Amber. She's fast asleep and the team are ready for action. What Arnon's doing is he's taken the tonsil and lifted it out of a sort of pocket of muscle that it sits in, so it's almost on a stalk. And then he's using the electrified tweezers to gently pull the tonsil away from its surrounding tissue. And it's almost like when you peel a piece of chicken skin off a chicken breast, you can kind of find the right direction to go through and lift it out. So that is the right tonsil coming out now. So this is the second tonsil coming out. There it is. So Amber's tonsils are about as big as grapes, but will Bailey's be any bigger? On to tonsil takeout number two. And this time we've got surgeon Sue Day in the hot seat and she prefers to use a different technique. So Sue's grabbed Bailey's tonsil and then she's using this very clever probe to basically burn away the tissue so that she can remove it. And there we go, number one. And hot on its heels is number two. And as predicted, they look rather large. How did those tonsils from Bailey compare to the ones we saw from Amber? I think uh, Amber's tonsils look sort of fairly infected and, uh, and, and... Almost crumbly. And yeah, crumbly and a bit shriveled. And that can happen with lots of attacks of tonsillitis. But Bailey's are certainly bigger. So look in there. No more massive tonsils, which means, like Amber, Bailey will be infection and pain-free from now on. So that's it. Two tonsils out. It's a really straightforward operation. It's all done in less than half an hour. Absolutely amazing.